Located just a few minutes from the Hilo International Airport is Banyan Drive and Lili'u'okalani Gardens. Aloha, it's Brandon, and I want to share this beautiful place with you. It's perfect for a walk or to enjoy lunch along with some history and beautiful coastline views. Let's walk through the gardens first, and then we'll head down to Banyan Drive. There's lots of history along this walk, so I'll be dropping little tidbits along the way. Otherwise, you can sit back and enjoy the view. Queen Liliuokalani donated the original five acres of land to create this public park in 1907. As we go through the park or the gardens, you're going to notice a lot of uh, Japanese-themed type of uh, decorations or styling. And this was intentional. It is a tribute to the first Japanese immigrants to the Big Island who were instrumental in developing and creating the agricultural history here on the island of Hawaii in, starting way back in 1868. So it originally started with uh, five acres of land and currently the gardens in this area is approximately well, 24, 24 acres. If you happen to be in this area on, I believe it's the first Saturday of September, definitely head over to this garden, to the park. This is the home to the Fall Queen Liliuo Kalani Festival. Lots of hula, lots of good food, a lot of festivities going on. If you are local and want to uh, learn a little bit more about this place, this is probably something you already know about. And if you're visiting, I would encourage you, if you are attempting to understand the place you are visiting, that is an excellent festival to go to. The Liliuokalani Gardens is so beautiful that back in 2016, the U.S. Postal Service picked these gardens for their stamps. They have a series of stamps for these gardens. It's to celebrate the people and all the cultural mi milestones that, you know, Hawaii and its history in this area. So if you are a philatelist or a philatelist I think it's philatelist stamp collector then you may want to hunt this one down
I got lucky during my visit to Hilo. It was a beautiful, sunny, clear day. Those of you that live in Hilo or have visited out here, you know Hilo gets a lot of rain. That definitely contributes to a lot of the natural green beauty out here. So for filming, just got lucky with some blue skies. As we exit out of the gardens, we're going to continue down Banyan Drive. This is also known as the Hilo Walk of Fame. It's famous for its banyan trees that have been planted by celebrities and notable dignitaries over the years. Their tradition began back in about 1933 when some community members decided to have know celebrities plant these banyan tree samplings as I go down you'll notice me um, pointing the camera down to some signs at the trunk of these trees most of them have names on them and I believe they have the year as well so I'm moving kind of quickly so feel free to pause so you can catch the name on the tree who planted it or who it was planted for we're going to pass a few hotels and condos along the way. The history of this place is, is pretty unique, just like everywhere in Hawaii. And the future of this area is a hot topic of discussion at the time of this video. It will be interesting to see how the community and government come together and what kind of plans they have for this area. Lots of ideas. I am not from this area, so I do not know what is best, but I know that the people of Hilo and the community members are stepping up and being heard. So we'll keep an eye on the Banyan Drive area here in Hilo. We're going to come across some famous names as well on these Banyan trees. Babe Ruth has a tree here. Amelia Earhart. A few U.S. presidents, Franklin Roosevelt and Richard Nixon. This all circles the uh, Waiakea Peninsula, which is part of the Liuokalani Gardens. This area, obviously right along the ocean, has been affected by tsunamis over the years. So some of these trees, uh, or some of the trees from the past, have been blown away in the storm or removed. So not all of the originals are here, but these are the remaining ones. There, um, I believe some of the significant storms were back in... 1946, I think there was one in 1960, 1975, and there are about 50 left. There was another big storm, I believe, in 75. Right on my left here is the Uncle Billy's Hilo Hotel. This one is in the news a lot. Hopefully something happens uh, with this place. 
And right after this is the Grand Nani Loa Hotel. I believe it's a double tree at this time. So, yeah, keep an eye on this place. A lot of discussion going on as far as what to do here, how to keep it, how to preserve it, respect it as we move forward. Along my right hand side as we head down, um, I'm not sure if I got too many shots of it, but if you notice some open green area uh, when I look that way, that is the Grand Nani Loa Golf Course located on the right. And right here on the left is the Grand Nani Loa Hotel. It's a Hilton property now. Don't be afraid to go in there. They have a wonderful bar in the lobby that looks out over the ocean nice landscaped yard there um, yeah if you're looking for lunch or cocktails you can go in there and you don't have to be a guest You'll notice I took this shot uh, in the middle of the weekday, but there's lots of street parking uh, along this route. So if you are planning to come out and want to walk it, yeah, just head out in this area. Lots of street parking available. I found that very strange coming from Honolulu, but yeah, it's definitely available out here. You can park all of these banyan trees on my left and across the street on the right. The vast majority of them, not all of them, have placards and little signs as far as who that tree has been planted for. So if you're a history buff or like to dig into those types of things, you'll be able to see them as you walk along. Up here on the left is Reeds Bay Hotel, and just past this is the Reeds Bay Park. Hilo is not really known for its beaches, but this area is quite nice. There's a few slivers of sand and some nice grass that leads right up to the water's edge. Also several more banyan trees along the end of this route here. I believe Amelia Earhart's tree is on the right. One of these here on the right.
I do enjoy sharing some of these special places in Hawaii with you. If you get a chance, if you're in Hilo, maybe you have a layover or you're just early before your check-in, or you just have an hour or two, head on down to the Banyan Drive. As you can see, quite beautiful. I don't see you guys out here at any of the parks or in the terminals of the hotel. I'll see you in the lobby. Thank you. 